it, it was a little before my time, just barely, actually, because when I was a youngster, this is the horse that I always heard about. But it was 50 years ago when Dr. Fager made his one and only start on turf. It was the United Nations Handicap. Back then, of course, that was run at Atlantic City Racecourse, and the good doctor gave away gobs of weight, and he had pressure the whole way, looked like he was beaten at the head of the stretch, but of course he, he valiantly held on to win the UN of 1968, giving him a horse of the year, well, many things gave him horse of the year, older male, and a sprinter of the year, but it also added turf champion to that unbelievable year from the good doctor, Dr. Fager. 50 years ago, 1968, there are no Dr. Fagers in this year's edition of the United Nations Handicap Map. That's true, Brian. Well, there aren't too many Dr. Fagers out there ever uh, in those 50 years since that uh, amazing horse uh, uh, ran, Brian. But the United Nations has since moved to Monmouth Park. And the United Nations has continued to be an important race for the older males on the turf. Like you said, no Dr. Fager, but over the last few years, some some very big names in that division have won the United Nations and gone on to win the Eclipse Award in that division. Horses like World Approval, horses like one of my favorites in recent years, Main Sequence, and then, of course, throw in Big Blue Kitten, who won the race twice. It, it it's a race that has had a lot of quality. I don't know. Uh, this year, there's a field of nine expected in the United Nations. I don't think at this point uh, there are even any of those kind of names like World Approval or Main Sequence or Big Blue Kitten in here. But the United Nations is a great race. And, folks, I'm just going to put in a little plug, Brian, for Monmouth Park, a track that you and I uh, – uh, in our New Jersey times have enjoyed going. There's good things happening at Monmouth Park right now, folks. There are bundling races in the cards. The crowds have been good. The handle is up. And, of course, there's sports betting uh, at Monmouth Park also. So you can go to the track uh, at the Jersey Shore, enjoy some great racing, and if you want to, you can, you can throw a few dollars down on some sports. You can watch the World Cup, put in a World Cup, Bet. They've got monitors showing those races, and interestingly, thus far in the first uh, two, three weeks of sports betting, um, the the sports betting has done nothing to take away from the handle at Monmouth Park, and attendance is up, so it's an interesting thing, folks. Go out to Monmouth Park, enjoy a beautiful day near the Jersey Shore for great racing, sports betting, but let's talk a little bit more about the United Nations, where Mr. Turf Racing Trainer Chad Brown has four horses entered. All good news, Matt. I, I, I uh, like to see the good news coming from Monmouth Park. They've been looking for sports betting for a while. After the show is over, I might have a few spot plays on the upcoming Wimbledon tournament, the little tournament they have in England uh, for you to play for me. So uh, we'll talk later. But as far as, the, as far as the United Nations, yeah, Chad Brown comes in four deep. Uh, it's hard for me to uh, look past the Chad Brown four in here. You know, there, there are no world beaters in here yet. But uh, on the other hand, I could easily see one of these horses, one of these nine horses that are in the uh, United Nations becoming one of the real big players a mile and a half on turf in America. It's still a division that is uh, up for grabs, really, and, and, and for the taking. And there are some horses in here who I could see move forward with a nice win in the United Nations and become one of the top distance turf horses in America. I also see a race where, yeah, Chad Brown dominates with four and probably a few of the favorites. But on the other hand, I couldn't throw out any of the other horses that are not amongst the Chad Brown four. So an interesting field and maybe a field where you could uh, get some money. But let's start with Chad Brown. And I guess we should start with Money Multiplier, a horse who I've always liked but hasn't quite lived up to uh, what I wanted from uh, a few years ago. He was second to world approval in the UN a couple years ago. He's also won the Monmouth Stakes a couple times, Matt. So obviously, Money Multiplier, son of looking at Lucky, uh, this is a turf course that he likes. Yes, he certainly does. He's he's turned in some of his best performances there, and he's got uh, Jersey Joe Bravo up in the irons, who uh, 
has ruled Monmouth Park for so many years and is one of the most underrated turf riders uh, in the country, in my opinion. Good point, Matt. Uh, Joe Bravo on the grass. Joe Bravo at Monmouth Park. Uh, you always have to watch out for that. And he did win this race. Uh, a horse I had last year with some odds, Bigger Picture. Bigger Picture comes into this year's race with a little less form than he did last year. And uh, Joe Bravo this time is on Money, money Multiplier. Having said, uh, having said what we said about Money Multiplier, I, I think he's the favorite. I'd like to try to beat him. I'm not sure what kind of odds you're going to get on the other brown horses. But all three are interesting, fantastic, uh, should be out there early and it seems to be an improving sort. But the other two, two imports, Kirilov and Silver Wave, uh, come out of a strong mile and a quarter uh, allowance race at Belmont Park. And I think both are big threats in here to win for Chad Brown as well. Yeah, uh, Kirilov comes in there and, and Irad Ortiz has, is coming over from New York to take them out. That horse uh, ha has been flashing some talent. I, I don't think he's qu quite lived up to uh, what we all expect from Chad Brown, but uh, he can't win every time. Horse ran well at Gulfstream Park, fit his second in a grade one race there over the winter. So um, the horse has some talent. There's also silverware um, and Rajiv Mirage is coming from New York to ride that one. This one's run a few times in the States since coming over from France, where he was a Group 1 winner there. Yeah, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Matt. Is it Silver Wave or Silver Wear? I think it's Silver Wave. That's what I have in my notes. Okay. Is it, well, let, let's go with Silver Wave. Silver Wave uh, is extremely interesting. I'm, uh, again, maybe he's only the third preferred of the brown horses, but uh, if you look at his French form, folks, he's the horse to beat in here. If he can come back to some of those big races he ran in France, he was running against top-notch uh, European grass horses at the distance and, and uh, doing quite well. Two races in America, like Matt said, they're, they're not great. They're not bad either. If he can improve a little bit and, and, and he likes the out of distance again, Silver Wave, I think, has a big shot in here. But if we just look at this year's form, I think Kurilov is the horse to beat. Uh, Kurilov, uh, I'm going to throw out that really wet turf we had at Churchill Downs, but his other races look good enough uh, to get the job done in here. So brown, brown, brown. Having said that, that one go, all go. Uh, speed has, has really uh, proven to be a nice distance turf horse this year, Vittori Kin. Uh, another import is coming off a strong win at Churchill Downs. Oscar nominated is a uh, horse we've known about for years, likes the distance and is rounding into form. Bigger picture, I don't like his form of late as much, but he did win this race last year. And even Shug's uh, horse, Profiteer, uh, seems to be an improving horse who certainly could step up into this class. It's a good group of horses and trainers like trainers like Mike Maker and Shug and Scooter Dickey. They know how to get horses ready for big races on the turf. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get one of the uh, imports from Chad Brown into the exact Curlove and Silver Wave. And uh, maybe maybe try a little bit of uh, a horse who can rally into the picture as well. Either Victoria Kim or Oscar nominated. Hoping that Money Multiplier is the favorite. His Monmouth uh, turf record scares me a bit, but I'm going to try to beat him this time uh, in this edition of the UN. 